okay so let me create one package under examples folder so here where you have to create your bdd scenarios as well so under this i'll create a new folder and call this as bdd okay now to write a future file inside this so there is one plugin available which you should download for visual studio so that way it will give you syntax highlighting for your future files okay so now for your future files you have a syntaxes like scenario given when then right so there is some structure you have to follow so to follow the structure you can manually write it but there are some plugins available which supports this extensions dot feature extensions so first let's get them into our system um just type visual studio cucumber pdd extension yeah this one cucumber jerkin full support install open visual studio and for me it's already installed so i would see something like this in your case you will have install button here go ahead and install so this way this will support a uh, dart feature extensions to your project right so as it is already installed for me now i will go ahead and create a new file and i would call it as um e-commerce dot feature so the name of the file should be feature dot feature extension okay so now let's come back and see the way of writing these feature files so if you go to the official cucumber web page we already see that earlier um yeah so if you go to where is that yeah i think this is the home page of their documentation feature right you have to write something like this which explains what exactly your feature file is doing a feature file may have multiple scenarios it's just like a test suite can have multiple test cases so you should start writing with a feature okay when you start typing feature you see that you will get this syntax highlighting when you have that plugin select it and here where it is asking to write feature name so you can write a feature name as n to n e-commerce validation so that's your feature name okay and you can write more description about what does that actually do uh, what application it is and uh, what exactly that application does all thing you can mention here application regression something like this this is about your feature file description and next you have to write your actual scenario which you want to test okay so click and enter and then you can start with one tab and write scenario and here where it gives scenario name so when you start doing all this this tabs and everything are very important okay so scenario name is e-commerce products delivery and now you can start writing your actual given when then so these are the three syntaxes given so what is our first step we are landing on that e-commerce page right so the way what we have done earlier in the end to end automation is that we are landing there selecting the products validating the sum and finally selecting the country and we are submitting it right so same thing let's do it here so given i open e-commerce page so then you should write a code to land on this uh, page with the with this url and next when what next you are doing so you are going to shop page adding the items into cart and checking out so when i add items to cart right 
end you are validating the total prices here so let's assume that this is the action you are performing and then what is the outcome expected so i would say and validate the total prices and what is your ultimate goal your ultimate goal is to check whether the products what you added to the cart are being checked out and successfully placed an order right this is what you have to see so your actual validation will go in the then statement then select the country submit and verify thank you message right this is your actual validation right to reach this point you have to perform some actions that actions performing will go under when block when you have multiple actions to perform you can use end and this is the outcome and this is what you have okay you have a website in your uh, with you uh, with a url that is what you have and when you go and add items to that portal what you have then this is what you are validating like this you have to mention in very detail so that one can understand what exactly your automation test is doing and now you bring your real code and plug in with these steps okay one by one that is our next goal and let's start with this scenario now let's go ahead and get the code of actual implementation right so for that you have to follow some conventions when dealing with cypress so if you create a feature file with one name called x in our case it's e-commerce then um, i recommend you to create another folder on inside this bdd and have that folder name as e-commerce so there is one rule that if you have your feature file name as e-commerce then when you run this feature file it has to look for its actual implementation right where it will look it will look into the folder which have a same name of its feature okay so when you give this is e-commerce then it will look for the step definition files in the folder name called e-commerce only so that's how these guys are designed so if you go to their documentation they explain it somewhere saying that yeah dot feature file will use step definitions from a directory with the same name as your dot feature file so inside that directory you have to place your javascript files uh, like this okay so that's what the concept here okay now under this you can start creating your step definition file which will have actual implementation so let's go ahead and do that a new file and I can still call it as a e-commerce dot uh, js or you can say um, ecom step def this is a javascript file because your actual code is in js right okay and now here where you have to define and link each and every step we'll see that in our next lecture thank you